This is a place dubbed the most luxurious hell ever discovered by humankind. A planet whose surface is covered in diamonds, with an estimated value exceeding 300 million times Earth's GDP. But atop those sparkling gems lies a blazing inferno, a purgatory so intense that it could incinerate all of humanity in just one second. That planet is 55 Cancri E, a diamond tomb imprisoned by its parent star. When humans first observed this planet in 2004, scientists were stunned to discover that its surface may contain trillions of tons of diamonds, a true treasure chest adrift in the cold vastness of space. But behind its lavish facade lies a brutal secret. 55 Cancri E orbits just 2 million kilometers from its host star, virtually no distance at all on the cosmic scale. This extreme proximity heats the planet's surface to over 2,500 degrees Celsius, while internal pressures are hundreds of times greater than Earth's core. Due to its closeness to its star, the planet has a lightning-fast orbit, completing a full revolution in just 18 hours. This rapid spin has caused it to become tidally locked. One side is eternally scorched by sunlight, while the other remains trapped in frigid darkness. What makes 55 Cantri E even more extraordinary is its chemical composition. Its host star, 55 Cantri A, contains far more carbon than our sun. As a result, about one-third of the planet's mass is composed of carbon. Under such extreme heat and pressure, carbon atoms transform from graphite into crystalline diamond, forming layers of diamonds tens of kilometers thick. However, this alluring treasure lies a staggering 41 light years away, a distance that would take even our fastest spacecraft over 4,000 years to reach. And even if humanity could overcome that vast expanse, it would still face a molten hell of lava with gravity eight times stronger than Earth's, enough to crush any living creature, a treasure beyond imagination, but also a chilling reminder from the cosmos. Not everything that shines is a paradise. And not all diamonds are meant for mankind.